10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Mission. And liftoff. Got speed Endeavor in 3 2. Copy, 1 Alpha. Endeavour launches once again. Four astronauts from three countries on Crew 2, now making their way to the one and only International Space Station. The vehicle is pitching down range. Nine Merlin engines on the first stage providing 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Hearing good calls on the first stage performance so far. Falcon 9 now traveling at more than 1,500 miles an hour. About 30 more seconds of the first stage firing to bring our four astronauts into orbit. Copy, two alpha. Acquisition confirmed. Acquisition signal was. Again, the four person crew of Endeavour is in orbit right now. Dragon separation confirmed. Dragon, SpaceX, thanks for flying our first flight proven crewed Falcon 9. Sierra side, crew two. Clean release. Ignition. Good rocket motor burn. There's Mach 1 trimming now. 30 seconds, Mach 2. Everything's looking really good and stable. There's Mach 3, and 60 seconds, and that is a full duration burn, folks. We are headed to space. The pilots are now unlocking the feather, and um, as soon as they do that, it's going to initiate a backflip for Spaceship Unity. This is normal. We want those windows pointed down towards the Earth to maximize that incredible view. So we are on the re-entry portion of our flight now, and the mission specialists are heading back to their seats. Our training team has worked really hard on this portion of the flight to make it very natural and intuitive for passengers. So at this point, Spaceship Unity is a glider, so it's all about balancing her potential and kinetic energy. So if the pilots want to go faster, they point the nose down, and if they want to go slower, they bring the nose up crew is listening to a special soundtrack for the glide. It's the latest release from Khalid, a track called New Normal. And there's one person in particular who's got to be having all of the feels right now. You can see him sending a congratulatory shake to his passenger, Colin Bennett, there with him. And now I'm looking down at a beautiful spaceport. Uh, congratulations to everybody for, uh, for creating such a beautiful, beautiful place. Congratulations to all our wonderful team at Virgin Galactic for 17 years of hard, hard work to get us this far. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Blue Origin's first human flight, Godspeed, first crew of New Shepard. Let's light this candle. Four, command engine start. Two, one. <laughs> So far appears to be a nominal flight. All right, coming up here on Miko, main engine cutoff that will be followed shortly by separation. And at that point, after separation, we're gonna uh, let the, the astronauts unbuckle and take in the freedoms of zero G. There is Miko, main engine cutoff. A beautiful shot down the New Shepard rocket. Look at that view. And there we go. Our astronauts have passed the Kármán line at about 328,000 feet, continuing their ascent. You see the two vehicles there. When the speed hits zero, you know that they've hit Hapagee, their maximum altitude, and you hear they're having <laughs> quite an experience. 
Thank you again, everybody, for joining us live for our first UN flight on New Shepard. So far, a nominal flight. Our booster is about to return to its landing pad. There we see engine relight. The sonic boom. Touchdown, welcome back, New Shepard. First up, your booster has landed. And there it is, our crew capsule with our our four crew members on board. You have a very happy crew up here, I want you to know. And now they're coming floating back down at just about 15 or 16 miles an hour, about to join us home back here in West Texas after having gone over the Carmen line, the internationally recognized line of space. And touchdown. Welcome back, New Shepard's first human crew. Copy, one alpha. Vehicles pitching downrange. Indicate nominal, historic mission flying the Inspiration 4 crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Let me with the crew in the capsule. Copy, With throttle one back up and one Bravo, the call out from space. That's one of the abort sequences. That is a nominal call. Everything continues to be good. Looks like a smooth ride for the crew. Okay, we heard the call out. MVAC D is chilling. We're beginning to get the turbo pump ready on the second stage engine for ignition. We're passing through 3G's acceleration. Everything continues to look nominal. Stage separation confirmed. Officially, the Inspiration 4 crew are now on their way to space. Stage 2 is in terminal guidance. Call out Stage 2 in terminal guidance. Uh, we're at the altitude. We're working the angular momentum we need to get into the right orbit. And if you're wondering, crew's pulling about 3.5 Gs right now, less than they took on the first stage flight. Stage 1 landing is confirmed. Uh, Dragon Space <laughs> House, launch escape system is designed. Command engine start. Two. One. And now we've had main engine cut off. The BE-3 engine has shut off. And in just a moment, we are going to separate the capsule from the booster. And at that point, our astronauts will have the opportunity to get out of their harnesses and enjoy the beauties of zero G. And there they are, over 328,000 feet, over 100 kilometers. Welcome to space. The newest astronauts on board our crew capsule. Here we see the descent. We are going to expect the BE-3 engine to relight just at about 3,600 feet or about 1,200 meters above ground level. Let's wait for that now. The drag brakes have deployed. And here we come, New Shepard. Welcome back, New Shepard. The fourth flight to space and back for that vehicle. 
provided a beautiful flight to space for our second human crew. And here comes our crew back into the desert. Everybody. Newest astronauts 596, 97, 98, and 99. And capsule touchdown, welcome back the newest astronauts, Audrey Powers, William Shatner, our customers, Glenn DeVries, and Chris Poshausen. <laughs> Captain Kirk himself, the great William Shatner. Two, one, zero. Ignition and liftoff. second stage abort mode on the first stage that is going to take them through the first stage burning just before the second stage activates off the coast of North Carolina. Stage separation. Copy to Alpha. All right, we have ignition of the second stage. And you saw that green flash of that T-TEB fluid. And crew three is now on their way to the International Space Station. One minute away from entry burn of the first stage. Hopefully we'll get a camera view back on the first stage as we uh, light the three engines to come back into the Earth's atmosphere. Currently waiting for the call out from the SpaceX propulsion responsible engineer that the three Merlin 1D engines have lit to begin the slow, to begin slowing down the first stage prior to entering the Earth's stage atmosphere. Stage two FTS is safe. Stage one entry burn is in startup. We've heard stage one entry burn to start up. We've lit the center engine. We've got the two side engines, three engines running. This is a 27 second burn. This will slow the first stage down. We'll then enter the atmosphere where the grid fins begin to work. And then we will fire the single center engine as we approach the drone ship. Stage one entry burn shut down. Getting a view now of the crew three astronauts from a camera aboard Dragon. The crew now coasting in low Earth orbit, still attached to that second stage. There we go. Dragon separation confirmed. Dragon, CE, welcome to orbit. Hope you enjoyed the ride from F9. Dragon will take you from here. Safe travels. Man engine start. Two, one. in action. Coming up next here in under a minute is going to be main engine cutoff where we cut off that BE3 and you'll be able to visually see that on the screen here shortly. And there we see it, main engine cutoff of the BE-3. And we have confirmed separation. All right, so capsule booster separated. 
Capcom Serenites will momentarily cue the astronauts to unbuckle their harnesses and start floating around the capsule. They are in zero G, they've practiced for this and now it's really happening. As you can see, the forward fins on the New Shepard booster have deployed. That booster is on its way back to Earth first. Engine restart on that BE-3 confirmed. Altitude dropping fast. Sonic boom here in the studio. Hear that? Feel that for sure. That beautiful booster hover. And booster touchdown. <laughs> Welcome back, New Shepard. Look at that booster on the pad, all in a day's work for the workhorse of this operation. All right, and there go the drogue parachutes. That's a beautiful sight, slowing down the capsule. And there we go, the drogues lifting out the main parachutes. Looks like we have three beautiful parachutes there in their reconfiguration. So while these parachutes are obviously essential in providing a gentle touchdown for the crew capsule, New Shepard also has an innovative retro thrust system. Uh, so that's on the bottom of the capsule and that will make touchdown even smoother for the astronauts flying today. Stand by touchdown. So keep in mind here, there we go. Retro thrust and touchdown. All right, that is cheering all around from the crew. I think it is safe to say that the word touchdown has a new meaning for Michael Strahan today. Jackie, you are right. 